No, 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 no. You should be switching. You should be in Tesla. Remember the piece that we did with Larry Williams off the charts a couple of weeks ago, which said that this is the single best time to buy Tesla right here, right now? That's what you're going to do tomorrow. Ian Welcome back, friends, for one more update from the world of EV stocks. In case you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you live in the United States, you can get two free shares worth up to $1,850 just by following the link in the description. Now enjoy the rest of the video. Jim Cramer has made quite a name for himself with his eccentric, flip-flopping view on the NEO stock this year. Yesterday, just when there has been so much recent positivity around NEO, Jim Cramer recommended on his show that one should sell the NEO stock and switch over to Tesla instead. In California, Nick! Should be chill, we are from LA. Oh ho, what's up? So need your help with the position I'm holding at a loss. This company was a rocket ship in 2020, but it's down about 40% in the last three months. Meanwhile, they have continually reported growth for the last two quarters, lead the market in the most populous country in the world, and have recently talked about expanding operations and sales into Europe. The stock popped today with yet another partnership announcement for production and uh, distribution. Considering the great EV growth potential over the next few years at these levels, should I add to, hold, or trim my position in NIO, NEO? No, 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 no. You should be switching. You should be in Tesla. Remember the piece that we did with Larry Williams off the charts a couple of weeks ago, which said that this is the single best time to buy Tesla right here, right now? That's what you're going to do tomorrow. Ian in California. Ian. Yo, Jimmy Chill. Yo, Booyah. what's going on? What's going on? I'm a longtime listener here, uh, first-time caller. I just got to say, I think you're the man. Oh, well, thank I you. I you all the Thank time. you, buddy. Thank you. Like we just heard, in spite of the great points mentioned by the caller himself, Jim just had no analytical view on the company or sector, but just recommended a blind selling out from the NEO stock. We believe Jim Cramer represents the cohort of suits that want retail investors to lose money in stocks such as NEO, so that the suits can continue to accumulate more and more at these extreme low levels, and maximize their gains over the long term. We believe certain big players from Wall Street all know the eventual direction and success of a company like NEO, and just don't want small retail investors to make money from it by holding the stock with patience. Hence there's been a constant attempt to manipulate the price, and spread fear. Meanwhile, NEO actually just announced yesterday that they have made a new agreement with JAC to nearly double the production capacity at the NEO JAC manufacturing facility in Hefei. Bank of America has also just published a new research article, where they reiterate their bullish expectation from NEO. Bank of America is seeing an increase in demand for NEO vehicles in China, and that's primarily because of NEO successfully entering newer cities in China, and the highly customer-friendly battery swap 2.0 that NEO unveiled this year. We totally agree with the thesis from Bank of America. NEO's management has been doing a fabulous job with the marketing in China. NEO House and NEO Space are helping NEO massively in expanding to newer markets within China, and the backing of the Chinese government is helping a lot too. Recently the city of Chongqing announced they will issue a subsidy of up to $78,000 for each battery swap 2.0 station set up in Chongqing from NEO. Needless to say, these kinds of state-sponsored supports will go a long way in helping NEO win in China. Recently, even Kathy would accepted the fact that Tesla will probably not win in the Chinese market. Hey, I want to ask you a little bit more about Tesla. Obviously, you know, you've been out there front and center years ahead when everybody was turning their backs on Tesla, taking another hit. Uh, the news out of China, they have certainly had some tough time. Their growth has slowed substantially. They've had a lot of headaches uh, and, and protests in Shanghai after some accidents with its cars. Is the Chinese market at risk for Tesla? Uh, I I think the Chinese mar- uh, China is going to favor its local producers like Neo and others Xpeng, uh, and I think they're granting subsidies to Neo, which is the battery swap company, mm-hmm. even on its very high end cars, which they are not granting to Tesla. So it's obvious, and it has always been obvious that China would favor a local producer. But what we are seeing from uh, China. Uh, and particularly Tesla, is exports into Europe uh, where it does not yet have a plant. Uh, and what we're hearing is uh, the, uh, especially in Germany, but all over Europe, where their their standards are extremely high for cars in terms of design and performance, uh, that they would prefer cars from Shanghai, which is a much newer plant, 
and uh, much more productive, much more efficient in terms of uh, these design, perf perfecting these designs than is Fremont. Uh, and so I think we're seeing a big export market develop uh, from China into Europe. Uh, and uh, I think China will like that. China wants to be known not for shipping or exporting, you know, cheap right. goods, but also high end goods. So this could be the beginning of a trend. So. So is China at risk then for Tesla? I mean, should no, I, I, as, I don't think they're going to shut down the factory at all. I think that that okay. factory will be used much more for exporting than we once imagined. I will say that uh, Tesla's cars in, in China uh, have sold very well until very recently. I'm sure the publicity, uh, uh, the pub publicity it has received, has cooled cooled uh, uh, Tesla's jets in China. But uh, it's uh, it's been uh, fortuitous that this export market has opened up at the same time. Meanwhile, the Neo stock is giving more signs of a bullish trend reversal on the technical charts. We believe the stock has already bottomed out, and the risk reward ratio from here on is simply amazing for those with some patience. We believe NEO is a long-term play. Investing in NEO right now can be compared with investing in Alibaba before they became a huge success in China. It might be difficult to see this right now, but in three to five years from now, NEO will be huge, and most of us will probably only look back and regret not buying more of the NEO share in 2021. With that said, thank you for watching this video. If you like watching videos like these, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are based in the United States, you can get two free shares worth up to $1,850 by simply following the link in the description.